Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I will explain how to draw this 3D model in Fusion 360 software. So let us start. So here in Fusion 360 software or any 3D modeling software, first we have to create 2D sketch and then we can convert into 3D by adding its thickness. So first we will draw this base plate and for this base plate we will draw the 2D sketch that is this 100 mm line then this curve then this inclined line then this curve so we will draw the 2d sketch for this base plate then we will draw this circular cylinder and then we will add a rib so let us start from this base plate so we will draw 2d sketch for base plate so go to the create and select create sketch command after selecting create sketch command we have to select plane on which we have to draw the 2d sketch so we will select this horizontal plane on which we have to draw the 2D sketch for the base plate. So here this is 100 mm line. So we will draw this 100 mm line. Then this circular arc of 10 mm radius. Then this curvature it is of 20 mm radius and this inclined lines on both sides, this side and this side. So I will take line command, then draw a line of 100 mm length. We can enter by keyboard or we can select by mouse. So enter 100 mm. Then this line is symmetric to this point. So I will give dimension of this end from this center point. It is 50. Then we will draw this circular arc. So I will select circle command. And I will draw a circle of 10 mm radius means 20 mm diameter. So I am entering here diameter. Here also I have to draw a circle 20 diameter. Now this circle is tangent to this line. And this center it is 10 mm from this end. So we can give the constraint by using dimension. So select dimension command. Select this end of the line and center and this distance it is 10 so enter 10 here similarly center of this circle it is away from this end by 10 m distance so it is already 10 then we can give the tangent constraint so select here tangent constraint and this circle should be tangent to this line similarly this circle is tangent to this line so automatically it will be tangent and this is the symbol for tangent constant. Now we will draw circle for this curve. It is of 20 mm radius and this total distance is 120. So from this line, this end it is at 120 and radius of this circle is 20. So center of this curve it is 20 mm inside. So center of this curve it is 100 mm from this line. So I will draw a circle. Its dimension is radius 20 mm diameter 40. So you can give 40 diameter. Then this center it is 100 mm from this line. So give the dimension. Select this line and this circle it is 100 mm so we can give 100 mm here from this end center of this circle it is at 50 mm so give the dimension 50 mm then we have to draw then we have to draw this line so select line command draw line from this circle to this circle now this line it is tangent to both the circles we can select tangent constraint then this line and this circle this circle and this line so it will become tangent now you can see here when i am giving the constraint color of this line becomes black it means black color indicates this diagram is fully constrained then on this side also we have to draw line so select line command Select circle. Now see here 
this line is tangent to the circle but it, but here it is not the tangent and that's why color is not black so select tangent command select this line and then this circle so it will become tangent and we can see it will become black now here this line is shifted in downward direction so i will give dimension here so from this point this center it is at 10 mm so it is 10 mm so it will move to xy line now we have to erase this part so for that we have trim command so select trim command and select the unwanted part similarly this extended line we have to erase then, then this extended line like this and click on finish sketch so here we have drawn 2d profile for the base plate now we have to give the thickness 15 mm so click on finish sketch then click on this home to get 3d profile then we have to give the extrude command so select extrude command so automatically this profile is selected if there are number of sketches then we have to manually select the profile so here it is only one profile so it will automatically select it and here it is arrow if you click and drag it will add the thickness so we can add thickness in upward direction or downward direction and thickness is 15 mm so here we can move the cursor like this or we can enter the value here so it is 15 mm click on ok or press enter key so in this way we have drawn this base plate now we will draw this cylindrical block so this circle is coincident to this circular arc to draw this cylindrical block we have to draw 2d sketch of circle and then we can add the thickness by using extrude command so again go to create select create sketch here we can select any profile or surface so here we have to draw a circle on this surface so select this surface so by just scroll we can zoom in and zoom out now here we have to draw a circle so select circle command and on this line we have to draw the circle so here it is the center of this arc so select the same center like this and here diameter is 30 so give the dimension 30 like this so it is fully constant because we have already selected center of previous circular arc then we can click on finish sketch click on this home button then select this extrude command now here automatically profile will not be selected because here there are number of profiles so i will select this profile then you will get arrow we can click and drag this arrow so here in this diagram it is 65 height of this cylinder is 65 so we can enter here 65 and press enter key if you click on home then you will get 3d profile so in this way we have drawn this base plate and cylindrical block now we have to add the rib so in fusion 360 software we have rib command so to draw the rib first we need line 2d sketch so we have to draw a line we have to draw a line connecting midpoint of this line and point on the cylinder and then we can convert into rib so for that we have to create 2d sketch first now here as we have drawn this base plate coincentric to this intersection of the planes so this plane is passing through mid of this object so we have to draw the line from this point to this so we can select the this vertical plane and take line command select this end and we can zoom in by using scroll button and select this end and press enter key so you can click on home so in this way we have drawn line so click on finish sketch and then we can select the rib command so select rib command so first we have to select the profile so this line is profile 
then we can give the thickness of the rib so here thickness is 10 mm so we can enter here 10 mm we can select here whether we want on both side of this line or one side if we select on one side it will add thickness on one side so we want that thickness symmetric to this line so i will select both direction that is symmetric then this white arrow is used to select the direction of the rib so we want rib on this direction so select direction like this and click ok so in this way we have drawn 3d object so if you click on shift plus scroll button and if you move the mouse then we can see the object from different angle like this so in this way we have created the 3d model suppose we want its 2d sketches that is orthographic views then we can go to this design then drawing and select from design so here we can give name of that drawing so from this model we will draw orthographic views as well as isometric view so i will write here ortho and iso of actual object so this name will be reflected in the title box so click save then here we can select full assembly create new from scratch then standard iso units in mm and here we can select the size of sheet so here i will select a3 size or if you want to take print on a4 size then we can select a4 size and click on ok then here we will get a4 size sheet and we had given this name so that name is reflected here now along with this cursor there is one object so i will place that view that is base view here so this view it is the view when we look at the object from this direction so if arrow direction is this so front view we have to draw from this side so this view is actually left hand side view so we can keep this on right side and then by using this project view command so select this command and select this object if you move the mouse on left side then we will get front view then again by using this command from front view we need top view then if you want isometric view then also we can select project view command select this object and move the cursor at incline direction so you will get the 3d model like this now we want shaded portion to this 3d model so double click on this and select this shaded click, click close so we will get shaded portion so as compared to the seat side these drawings are very small so we can increase the scale so double click on this object so here it is scale 1 as to 5 so we will convert into 1 as to 2 so it is slightly larger click on close we can click and move the position then this object also we want slightly larger size so here it is by default 1 as to 5 scale so we will take 1 as to 2 scale this object also we want 1 as to 2 scale so double click on that and select this 1 as to 2 then click and drag like this now we can give the dimensions so here it is the dimension command so select this dimension select this circle then this outer curve it is of 20m radius so select this then drip thickness it is 10 then this circular arc it is 10m radius this also 10m radius center of this circle it is 100mm from this from this line this center it is 100 mm then from this to this it is 100 then this height 
it is 15 this side it is 65 from this to this it is 120 so like this we can give the dimensions then right click and cancel this dimension command then here in title box date and name it will automatically come and then we can export this pdf so click on this export select export pdf click on ok then select the location where we want to save this object so i will select desktop and give the name click on save and on desktop you can see here this is the pdf generated so we can take print out of this pdf thank you